coming right there. All right, hey, this week we're gonna talk about long range shooting using a red dot on a pistol. But before we do, I gotta give a shout out to my sponsors because you know the deal. You guys love getting these videos for free and uh, I, I need them to do that. This week's video is brought to you by Big Daddy Unlimited. Be sure to check out their wide open triggers. You drop this trigger into your AR, this thing's totally badass. Be sure to check it out. Big Daddy Unlimited, we love you guys. All right, now everybody usually practices seven meters with their pistol, standard range, flat range stuff. Everybody shoots seven meters. Um, people want to talk long range shooting. When they shoot long range, a lot of them, they'll go all the way back to the limit of that range. For most shooting ranges, that's 25 meters or 25 yards. Now 25 meters, 25 yards doesn't really matter. Uh, wow, they're like, man, that's, that's some long range shooting drills. But the reality is, is nine millimeter, even cheap nine mil ball, that's what we run in our guns. It's a very accurate round. We have accurate modern firearms. And you know, a lot of guys, whether you're pr just practicing good sight alignment, okay, you can still get literally all the way back to 100 meter hits. A lot of guys are new at running red dots and the advantage of Red dots is, man, they're, they're literally awesome. You can just put the dot on the target and you're guaranteed to get a hit, right? Except you're not. How come? Because they say that these dots are parallax free. The reality is, is they're, they have less parallax than a lot of other optics. I got that, they do. Uh, but what I wanna talk, about, uh, talk to you guys about is literally, uh, there are some tips for doing long range pistol shooting. Now, what I mean by that is you if you have good sight alignment with your iron sights, in other words, rear sight, front sight, and I want equal height up and down and then equal light on both sides. In other words, I want it perfectly centered. Now, your sight radius between your front and rear sights only, you know, it's six inches. So basically any mistake you make, even if it's a 132nd of an inch misalignment, at six inches, you're off 132nd of an inch. And then 12 inches, you're off 232nd of an inch. And you understand this exponentially just takes off, right? Brother, there's a lot of six inches here at the 50 meter line between here and there. Now, the again, brings us back to the advantage of the red dot. With that red dot optic, oh, I don't have to worry about parallax. I just got to put my dot on the target. While they are marketed as parallax free, red dot optics still have a little bit of parallax in them. So what is a trick? How do I get good sight alignment behind my red dot? How do I do that? How do I center my head? On a rifle, everybody rests the stock, their cheek on the stock of the gun. That allows them, gives them that reference point for lining up and centering that eyeball directly behind the red dot or the iron sights on a rifle. I can't really do that on my pistol. You take that front sight, now preferably if you've got suppressor height sights, okay, but even if you don't, all right, what I'm doing is I'm gonna take that front sight post, basically if this was my front sight post, a little bit blurry, and all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my red dot right on the top of it. Now, you, if you move your head left and right, what you'll see is that red dot is moving left, right, up, down, red dot moves around. But if you take that extra second, get good and stable, plant that front sight post and put that red dot right on top, then roll smooth through that trigger, what you've done is you're guaranteeing that you line up your eyeball directly behind that red, uh, red dot sight the si same every time, every time. So again, all I'm doing is I'm mounting my pistol, all right, I'm gonna place my dot, or in this case, my chevron, directly over the top of my front sight. And then I'm, once it's aligned, I'm gonna add one pound, add two pounds, th add three pounds, add four pounds. My gun goes off. Now I mentioned I'm running a chevron. You guys know I love the Vulcan reticle, the ACSS Vulcan reticle. It's the same thing for sight alignment. I actually like it better than a red dot because I can take that front sight post and instead of trying to balance a red dot on top of it, 
I'm literally just putting my V right there, just like that. That's all I'm doing, right? And literally, if you do that, again, line it up, place my chevron right on top of my post, and apply one pound, two pounds, three pounds. Guys, you get hits, 50 meters. That's not really long range. It applies the further back. Let's go back, let's go on back. All right, so what distance should you zero your red dot sight at? Some people say 10 meters, some say 25, some say 50, some people say 100. Zero your red dot sight at whatever maximum distance you plan to be with it effective. And what you'll find is back inside house distances, three to five, seven meters, it really doesn't matter. If you understand though, the further you go back like this, we're at the 100 meter line, wow, that's a small piece of steel. The further you go back, any minute mistakes you make in orientation of that gun, any small mistakes you make jerking that trigger, I understand you're gonna be off. You're gonna be off. So, um, but again, uh, the principles remain the same. I get my good solid stance, good shooting position. I'm gonna line up my sight. I'm gonna put my little chevron on top of my front sight post, line it up. I'm going to, man, every time I talk, my thing moves all over the place. I'm gonna line it up on the target and then I'm gonna just apply pressure. One pound, two pounds, three pounds. Literally, fundamentals of rifle marksmanship are the same as the fundamentals of pistol marksmanship. It comes down to good supported firing position. It comes down to proper sight alignment, all right? Align those sights up. Whether you're using iron sights, equal height, equal light, or whether you're using a red dot with a reference to make sure you're parale as parallax free as possible, what you'll find is you can go back uh, in distance. I'm not holding high. I'm not. Uh, I'm zeroed roughly at 100 meters. When I'm shooting 75, 80, I have to actually aim a little bit low because, uh, because the round it still climbs a little bit. Okay, it's starting to come back down here. We're good. Anyways, that's this. And then you can go further back. You can go further back. It's fun. We do this at the last day of uh, last shooting drill of all of our Combat Pistol 101 classes. It's designed to show you where your limit is. But you'll never know where you're limited if you don't get off the flat range. You got to stop thinking seven meters. Get out there, realize where your personal limit is, and then push it out. You practice the good fundamentals of marksmanship. You've got a good red dot on a good gun shooting, good ammo. You're going to get good hits. That's all there is to it. Y'all take care. Shoot straight. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.